I love the little eyelets on this pattern. You have them going from right to left, right and left to create that zigzag eyelet stitch. And for more information, visit the website. Also keep in mind that this is only a stitch pattern, not a project, so there's no cast on or cast off. To see how I do that, visit the website. Now we're gonna start with row zero. I know it sounds funny, but it's like a prep for the pattern. So you're going to knit one, e-wrap one, and then knit two. Don't panic if you don't know how to do an e-wrap or u-wrap knit stitch. I'm going to show you how to do those in this video. You're then able to go to row one where you're gonna do a knit two yarn over slip slip knit, which sounds a lot more difficult than it actually is. So this is a four stitch pattern right here. We're going to do a knit, knit, yarn over, and then a slip slip knit, which if you know what a yarn knit two together is, it's the same thing, it's just leaning to the left. So for the U wrap, you half wrap your stitch and then knit off. Again, you take the working yarn, half wrap the peg, and take the loop that's on the bottom and bring it over the top, and that's a knit off. And to do the yarn over, you're gonna grab that loop, pull on it a little bit, take it off, unravel that stitch, it's the E wrap stitch, and take it over to the left and put it on top of the existing loop. Now you have two loops there and that's going to be your slip slip knit. So you take the working yarn and place it over those last two pegs and then the two stitches under row peg four you knit off. Alright, let me break that down for you again. We're going to repeat that four stitch pattern. You ready? So the first peg we're going to half wrap and knit off. That's one of the knits. And the next one we're going to half wrap and knit off. And then for the third peg, you're going to pull on your loop a little bit to loosen it up, take it off the peg, unravel it, and then take it and place it over the existing loop on peg four. You're then gonna take the working yarn and you're gonna place it loosely over the third and fourth peg and then you're going to take the two loops on the third, fourth one and knit off. And then you're just going to repeat that four stitch pattern. And that's going to depend on your project and uh, how lo long or, I'm sorry, how wide you want your stitch pattern. You just repeat these four stitches again and again. So knit two, yarn over, slip slip knit, which is basically the same thing as a knit two together except it's on the left um, and that's why it's called a slip slip knit. Once you're finished with row one and you're ready for row two we're going to do one E-wrap knit stitch followed by three U-wrap knit stitches. So that E-wrap is going to be the first peg in the set. And then right here is a yarn over which I wanted you guys to take a look at and see what it looks like. Um, and then you're ready for the stitch pattern E and then three U's. Alright, so for the E-wrap you're going to take the working yarn and you're going to completely wrap that peg and then take the loop under the existing one and knit off. Now the U, you're going to half wrap and knit off and you'll see that it's a little loose right here. That's because of the yarn over. To fix that, go to the next peg and pull on that loop. That's your knit off loop. Tighten it and knit off and go to the next one and do the same thing. Pull on it to tighten that loose and knit off. And then you're going to start that three stitch pattern again by starting with one E-wrap, completely wrap the peg and knit off. Go to the next peg and do the U-wrap. So half wrap and knit off and it's loose right there so you pull on that loop next to it, half wrap and knit off and go to the next peg and pull on that loop half wrap and knit off. And now just continue that four stitch pattern until you have the width of 
your desired um, project. When you're done, you're ready for row three, which is a knit two. The knit two together yarn over a lot easier than it sounds. So remember, it's a four stitch pattern. So you're going to do knit two, knit two together, yarn over. You guys remember how to do yarn overs, right? You got to pull it off. So let's do those two knit stitches. Wherever it says knit, it's a U wrap knit stitch. So half wrap and knit off and half wrap and knit off and the knit two together is the same thing as a slip slip knit except it goes to the right so your yarn over is over here on the left so you're going to unravel an e wrap and bring the loop over and put it on top of the existing loop on the peg to the right that's what makes it a knit two together and you have two loops there so you're going to go ahead and knit that off and now it's funky because your yarn over needs somewhere to anchor, right? It's just a loose um, strand of yarn and you anchor it with the next set of four stitches. So you're repeating it right here. And when you repeat that, you bring the yarn over, you bring your yarn over, over to the next peg and knit off and that's going to anchor it so it's not loose. And then you do one more knit stitch. And then the next one is your knit two together. So you're going to bring your yarn over to the right. So take it off, unravel the loop, and bring it to the right and over the existing loop. And these can get tight sometimes. And go ahead and do your knit two together, which you can do one at a time if it's too tight. And again, lay your yarn over that fourth peg and the first peg of the next repeat. So it's the only way you need to do it because it needs to anchor somewhere and keep going. Now your best bet on this is to remember that you need to put edges on this stitch pattern. And so you're gonna need some extra stitches uh, at the end of this uh, round to anchor that last stitch, which is a yarn over so in my case, um, I marked my edge with white uh, stitch markers. So at the end, this one will anchor it. All right, now you're ready for row four, which is a knit one, e-wrap one, and knit two. You know how to do these two stitches. So you're going to repeat. You're going to do a knit one right here. And then it's loose. So your next one, which is an e-wrap, you're going to completely wrap that peg, pull on the loop, and knit off. Remember that that is going to neaten up that yarn over. Otherwise, it's too loose, and you end up with a really open eyelet, and you don't want that. So you're going to repeat the pattern. You're going to knit one, which is a U-wrap knit stitch, and pull on the next one, which is an E-wrap on that bottom loop. Pull it and knit off and do the same thing with the next one pull on it and knit off and you can do the same with the last one you're going to pull and knit off and then repeat the knit one e wrap one right and then knit those last two on the repeat now if you notice row four is exactly the same as row zero but when it's time to repeat this four row pattern, you're only going to repeat rows one through four, the amount of times necessary for you to reach your desired length. And hey guys, check out all of my other stitch videos. I have a whole playlist and there will be a link in the description.